Okay guys, um, now that I showed you tasks, I will begin with fields. So when we get to fields, you can see a couple of things. Um, for starters, you can see that your fields are organized um, by area. And again, like we had in tasks, you have the filter view again. So you have the calendar icon, which means that you can organize your fields by season. So for instance, um, you can do it by years, so 2019, or if you have a field from past year, 2018, um, you can organize them that way. And remember that if you want to organize your fields, you first have to select a year. So you'll select 2019, and you will see that all the fields show up. But if you select a year like 2015, nothing shows up because we created only fields for 2019. Again, this is just to help you organize your fields. If you want to see everything, remember you can just clear all your fil or clear all your filters using the X. So just press X all the way on the right, reset all filters, select OK, and then you'll see everything. And um, what you will also see is that you can filter your crops by the type of crop. So first, remember select the season. That is very important. And then you can select the type of crop. So right now we'll select apples. And then you can see apples for field alpha will only appear. And then the folder icon next to it is by group. So for instance, we do not select a group for the apples. So technically we would select without group. And then you would see alpha. And again, press X to clear all filters. Press OK. Now, if you wanted to create a new field, simply select the plus icon. And there again, you can see you can import, um, use GPS measurement, or draw your own field. So again, I'll, let's do the drawing. Um, we are being brought to our fields. And let us draw one more field. So we'll draw this field, going to zoom out, all right, set the points. Again, I'm not the best artist. You can adjust the points as much as you like to ensure that you get the best field. So remove the crosses. So again, when you see the cross or the plus symbol, that means that you can adjust the points. So just adjust this last one. All right, now when I'm completely satisfied with my field, I can just select the top icon, uh, save. And now we have a new field. I will give it a, another military name. And then you can select next, next again. I will select a different crop. I will choose barley. And again, no group this time. Um, no inf additional information needed. I'm just going to select save. And here we have another field that pops up. So our field delta will pop up um, along with the new fields. Now, what you see all the way up top is you see the three dots in a column. And here you can sort your fields. So for instance, you can do sort by. And right now there organized by size but you can also do it by crop so here you can see corn at the top barley pea or apple you can organize them by let's say distance so you can see the distances that they're organized by and last one yeah we can do group you can see that the corn field is in organized in the corn group and the other crops are no groups and again if you select the map icon all the way at the top it will bring us to map view and also if you press the filter icon next to the map it will remove the filters so here we just have our fields and that is it and so now I will select the map icon so here you can see all of our fields they are represented by different colors 
and you can see the names start to appear and the sizes. Um, and yeah, you can see the names, the sizes, and if you wanted to, you can also filter your fields in the map view. So remember, important to select the date. So we will do 2019. Now I'm going to select field with only barley and then you'll see field delta shows up and if we wanted to do it by group well there's only one field and we know it is without a group so we'll select without group and if we want to clear all filters and see all of our fields again then we can just select the x and again we can go to layers view and if you unselect the crop box then the crops will not appear and you'll only see the outline of your field and if you reselect crop then you'll see your fields and to go back to list view simply press the list icon which is to the left of the filter view and here we have it thanks everyone for watching and feel free to subscribe to our channel for more videos and tips